So, mm -hmm. cutting off the molded pieces for the dice tower. Like so. Oh, nice, sharp, sharp tool. And then, mm, the material that becomes, mm, that stays on the mold, I will just sand down carefully with some sandpaper. You can do these things many different ways. This is how I do it. <laughs> so, and there are some parts left to cut loose. <laughs> and there we have it. All the pieces are cut out of their sprues. So now on to some sanding down the little notches that remain after cutting out the parts from the sprues. There are a lot of little notches like this and sand down I guess you don't have to but I want to make this dice tower of castle grayskull look good so why not I like to I like to I think most people do <laughs> It, the final product will look so much better. The build, the build itself uh, is quite simple. There are these little T notches that plug into a slot for them. So uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, I mostly look forward to painting this bad boy. <laughs> But there are a few steps before I'm there. So, uh, the base build is pretty much done. Uh, I added some glue to some of the joining pieces and uh, put some tape on it to hold it together while it dries. <laughs> I don't know, right or wrong way, but this is how I do it. So. Gonna be fun to see the end result, I hope. <laughs> so, priming it with a bit of spray paint. In this case I'm using a black Citadel Chaos Black spray pen paint. <clears throat> uh, so, the start and the base will be black and then I will add greens and browns where I want. Uh, of course you can do this either way, I, I just... This is the way, as I mentioned in previous steps, this is the way I do it. I don't think there's any wrong or right, it's just a, your creative way you want to pursue the, 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 the path to a final product. So, time for some green paints. <laughs> so, time for some green paints. Sorry for a bit shaky, but I'm trying to <laughs> show this with one hand. Uh, I'm going to dry brush a bit of different green to this black primed dice tower. And dry brushing is basically, I can show a bit here. You get a bit of paint on your brush. You uh, wipe most of it off. So it's not all that much left. And then you start adding the greens on just like the pretty dry, well, it's called dry brushing, pretty dry brush. And I'm going to use <coughs> a bit of all kinds of green uh, to get the effect that I want. And some places will have uh, brown and 
maybe something else, a bit of bone texture to look like real teeth. So it's going to be interesting to see how this develops. I'm not sure yet, but uh, we will see, right? <laughs> All right, so dice tower is pretty much complete. It is complete. I don't think I will do anything else to it. Uh, and uh, I don't know. I'm pretty happy with it. I I think the the mm, the green stones, if you will, on the castle have about. <laughs> five or six different greens that I brushed in. I wanted it to look very organic and like not in a good condition, if you know what I mean. And some brown for the wooden details. And I took the liberty of uh, painting the teeth first completely teeth colored, is that a word? Bone colored? But then I, I added, watered down some greens to have some green on the teeth. They, they look too, too realistic before I added the green wash to them. So, but I guess you can, uh, of course you can take any artistic liberties you want. It's your castle, if you have one of these. But I'm pretty pleased with this one. I'm going to use it when I play the game, but <laughs> For the most part, it will be um, collectible in my master's collection. So, I hope you enjoyed watching me build this thing and paint this thing. Uh, it was it was really fun, but I didn't really know how to document it. I, I, I'm not used to this kind of stuff, but I tried anyway. You can get an idea of how I did this dice tower so really appreciate you watching so bye bye